Now, first up, we've got Lint Motors. And presenter, presenters are Daniel Kim and Ryan James. So take it away, guys. Thank you. Good afternoon. How are you guys? My name's Daniel Kim. I'm the founder and uh, president of Lit Motors. Uh, this is Ryan James, my CMO. And we're here to share our vision of the future of transportation. So everyone knows that transportation is a huge problem. Uh, any, it starts anywhere from personal annoyances like dealing with traffic or trying to find parking. Uh, but also, there's some major threats uh, like environmental destruction and war. So it's a problem that we have to solve. And in the United States, uh, we have many people working on solving this. So this is one of our solutions. And unfortunately, uh, it takes an incredibly long time for this to get to market. Um, they're expensive to develop. They're also expensive to purchase. They're not actually that efficient. And uh, they have limited range. Um, in other countries, like in developing countries, uh, solutions look like this. And you know, these aren't safe, and they're hard to drive, oh, there's plenty of them. You know, they also have limited use, and they still pollute. So really, what the world needs is the perfect commuter and, or vehicle. So we're actually taking a small profile with the quick-to-market deployment, uh, like of a, of a motorcycle, uh, with the safety of a car. Uh, it has to have versatility, so it's on and off-road in uh, any weather condition. And then on top of that, it has to have a quick learning curve so anyone can drive it at a price that people can afford. And it has to have efficiency that no one's ever seen before. So we took the last 14 months and $750,000 to design the future transportation. So we took all the efficiency, the romance of a motorcycle, and we combined that with the safety and the comfort of a car. So let me introduce our concept, the Lit Motor C1. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> yeah, so this is the side of it, and uh, this is the front, and this is the rear of it, it's the back, and we have another shot, yes, just from the top. So it's incredibly aerodynamic, uh, but the interior, uh, it has all the amenities that you would expect for your controls. The steering wheel, foot pedals for your gas and brakes. Um, but we've also designed all the safety features of a car. So airbags, seat belts, steel reinforced doors, uh, roll cage. And this is a street legal vehicle that you don't have to ride wearing a helmet. You're driving in your helmet. And it's a fully electric vehicle. Uh, that uses you know, off-the-shelf uh, technologies uh, for batteries. And because it's so light, you get 200 miles on a single charge. And we're using one-fourth the battery pack of a Nissan Leaf. And in fact, we're using a lot less parts than any other car. Uh, a traditional car gets around 24,000 parts or more. We're using one-tenth of that number. And what this means is you have an incredibly inexpensive manufacturing process and very few parts to actually maintain. So I know what you're thinking. This sounds too perfect. Um, but how am I going to actually you know, keep these things balanced? Well, I've, we've got the solution. So, we create our own gyroscopic technology, and this is the first self-balancing fully electric motorcycle. And it's technology not only that we have 15 patents filed for that creates stability and safety for everyone, but we've also had a large automotive manufacturer approach us for licensing already. And so you're probably wondering, uh, you know, that's great that we've got amazing technology, but you know, how are you going to execute this thing? Um, well, my background, is I have a history in building cars. That's what I do. Uh, and we have an awesome, passionate team. And we're backed by the most amazing stellar advisors ever. 
So these are the guys that you want in your back corner when you're building a sustainable vehicle. And um, uh, that's another reason. Oh, that's right. And we've already built one. So this is our alpha prototype, the Lit Motor C1. <clears throat> Thank you. So we built this in-house and uh, basically uh, all by hand, and we're looking at 200 uh, miles per charge, uh, zero to 60 in six seconds, and a top speed of 100 miles an hour. So it's pretty highway capable. Uh, and because it's actually classified as a motorcycle, uh, our time to market's incredibly fast, so we're expecting to see this on the streets in 2014, for $19,000 for a first round of production of 1,000 units. And, you know, at scale, we believe, because we already have a bill of materials backed off with hard data, is we can sell this uh, for $12,000 to the United States, and even less, like 8,000 in India and China. So, yeah, so, uh, I don't know. Is anyone, would anyone, is anyone interested in buying this at $12,000? Oh, we got some hands. Yep, there we go. Wait, hold, hold on. Did I mention, did I mention this is going to cut 50% off of your commute time down to Palo Alto? Yeah, more hands. Of course, of course. Uh, so we're taking pre-orders right now uh, at our uh, booth and our website, litmotors.com. My name's Daniel Kim, and uh, this is our company, Lit Motors, and we're bringing the future of transportation. Thank you. Yeah, I got a I got a question about you said it's self um, sustain. I mean, it keeps itself up. What is what is that powered by? If that were to fail in any way, what keeps? Yeah, we have a risk. We have a uh, we have gyros that basically create uh, 1,000 foot pounds of torque. Mm -hmm. uh, so you need a baby elephant to knock it over. And we also have landing gear, as you can see, uh, that's there for a safety protocol. Now, does that if you so you're saying if it gets hit by the side, it's gonna it's not going to start spinning over. It's just It'll just be... stay upright. Yeah. It'll, we, we've tested it. It's it's pretty cool. How do you sit in it again? What do you you're, you are you you sit in like a car? Just like yeah. a car. Just yeah. like a car. All right. So is cool. it designed for one passenger, one driver? It's actually you can ride two, uh, or you could bring four, uh, bring a dog, or four grocery bags, carry on, laptop bag, date wife. Have you done some crash tests with it? Have you seen what happens if it gets? We haven't. We've only raised uh, $750,000 uh, mm -hmm. okay. in total just to become a lean startup. It yeah. costs $11 million to actually crash test a vehicle. So we're oh, getting wow. there. So it's our advantage over, you know, like a full size car. Right. Pretty cool. I, th I think it's audacious as hell, Len. I think it looks badass. You know, like this is really, really cool. I'm having a hard time really, other than, I mean, this is, you're going after such a, a huge undertaking fact. I mean, just look at what Tesla's had to go through to build a, an sure. electric car. I mean, like, yeah. do you think you could really get this finance now? Yeah, absolutely. What's your plan? How are you going to do it? What are you going to? What are you looking to raise right now to 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 get it to get it off the off the ground? Uh, geez, gosh, uh, we're looking to raise around uh, twenty million for a round. Uh, that will get us to a near uh, beta prototype. Uh, which is, and we're looking for full-scale production, uh, maybe another like 20 off of that uh, for a small production around 1,000, and then uh, we'll use that to have contract manufacturers to scale up. Um, India and China do our uh, final assembly um, stateside and also the designated markets. I can talk about this for What haven't minutes. you figured out yet? Uh, I haven't figured out what actually goes into a beta prototype. Ex exactly like, you know, the 500-page document. I haven't figured that out. Okay, but I mean, like, you know, you need to go through crash testing. What other things are like uh, you looming don't, for you? You don't have to go through crash testing. Okay, you save eleven million dollars. We will do our own crash test, uh -huh. uh, but you know, all the safety amenities are there. Uh, so we're cr actually working with NHTSA uh, to create our own safety uh, hybridized metric mm -hmm. uh, for this new platform, and uh, yeah, it's been pretty fun. So. I love it. I mean, I think it's beautiful. I'll count, count me in as far as a deposit. Like, yeah. I, okay, great. Too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like RoboCop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I think it's great. I, mean, I saw um, the video that you had where you were trying to knock it over with a Jeep. 
Yeah, that's that, a truck that, that I built. That was very impressive yeah. how that could withstand that. Thank you. It was, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Thank you. Love it. That's great. Are you, you buying one? You no, I, I, don't, I don't ride motorcycles <laughs> at all. It's a motorcycle, though. It self-balances. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it reminds me of like, the plane with the parachute on it. You know, like, there's, uh, the whole concept of a right. safe motorcycle is just beyond... Uh, but it, you know, I could see how you crack the code. It's really impressive. Yeah, it is. The wind stationary. It just does it need the landing gear to stay up? Uh, yeah, this is the park mode. As you can see, there's landing gear here. But as you like come to a stop, how do you like between stop and? Yeah, the, uh, you come to a, you come to a stop and just stays upright. Uh, there's a video on a website that shows mm -hmm. this. And uh, if you want landing gear to deploy, you're putting to hit the park mode, and landing gear comes out and. Open the door, get out. It's kind of like the Segway, you know. It just right. has yeah. a gyroscope and keeps it going. I think it's brilliant. Thank you. Great Thank idea. You. Wish I had more questions for you. Like I'd love to ride one. <laughs> yeah, we can we can sign you up. Yeah, we'd love to. Okay. Give I'm, you a test I'm, drive uh, backstage. Absolutely, I'm in. Cool. So we've Thank got that. two you. in. Two. Were you in? Definitely curious. Curious. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would love to give it a test drive. Not so much? Not so much. For me, uh, it's, you know, war of the mass when it comes to vehicles. I mean, I'd love to see the video that he's talking about. Sure, yeah. Um, you know, like, if you get hit by a semi-truck, will it still you know, come back right up, or...? <laughs> well, semi-trucks <laughs> usually, in a, in a battle with a semi-truck, you never right? win, but... Uh, but we do use a Ford F-150 at 35 miles an hour um, at a 90-degree um, uh, basic collision, and that keeps it up. So are you more a motorcycle or a car in terms we're, of how we're maneuvering? Right, we're right in between. So are you having to lean and, and sort of fall into that? I mean, is that yep. how you're, you're, have, you're having to, so you're driving, steering, but you're still yeah, we doing have a certain a, amount of that to move the car. Absolutely. You're not, you're not actually leaning. The car does it itself. It does it itself, yeah. based on how you're turning. Driver, the experience is just like driving a car. Okay, so you don't, you're not physically moving. You're yeah. just steering yeah. the wheel and everything it else. Does is a, everything leans for you, yeah. That's it's exciting. Cool. I mean, that's how community should be. Yeah. Exciting. So have you tested this, like, let's say you hit a, uh, I know when, when I've had a motorcycle in the past, like, you hit a rough patch of gravel or something, and the back end starts to go out from underneath you. None of those issues here. No, I mean, you could drift, like, a motorcycle without the learning curve. But it's not going to no, go down ever. No, it, it's a whole new, you, it could be a whole new race uh, segment. Awesome. I mean, That's really cool. You know, WRC, World Rally Champions for Motorcycles. So if you know how to drive a car, you're in. Yep. Sorry? If what? you know how to drive a car, you know what to do with it. Yep. Yeah. But you need a motorcycle license to own one. Initially, yes, you do, yes. But you can take the motorcycle license test in this. <laughs> so that's <laughs> cheating. Yeah. Right. Legal cheating. Legal <laughs> cheating. So it has a reverse as well? Like I can yep. parallel park it? You can reverse on a motorcycle. Can you do a wheelie and stay upright that way? We <laughs> have an, we're developing, we're developing awesome. an algorithm for a, a burnout. And then we'll throw the UV on if we can. Right. Yeah, we'll talk more about that. That would be amazing. Or, if, my, if my model will do that, I'm in. Does it I'd come in Batman black? Yes. Yes, two passengers, yes. Can you jump Caesar's fountain on it? <laughs> <laughs> That's All great. Right. Well, congratulations. Thank you yeah, thank very you. much. That's really great. Very All cool. right. Thanks, guys. That's Lit Motors.